Hey, crafty friends. Welcome back to the old paper lady. I'm Lori. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. Um, what I'm going to do right now is uh, <clears throat> I'm in between journals. <clears throat> I don't feel like starting one tonight. It's Saturday night. I've had a rough day. Really rough day. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, but what I am going to do is I still have some of that first stack of uh, the Molina 1202 papers that we uh, got from Etsy that I still want to do some stuff with. I still got this stack here to finish up, so I'm going to continue on with that project if nobody minds. So, like I said, I got a few, uh, a few, uh, rose journals, blue journals, purple, you know, stuff coming up in the think I want some decorative flower bits on this side coming up in the future anyways so we're just going to continue on working on that if that's okay with you guys so this is a, a revisit project it would be a you know when I want to play with stuff and make pretty things just because it's pretty paper that's what I'm going to do just make some pretty stuff I'm looking I don't even know what I'm looking for I'm feeling like I need a glue mat because this hair is going to get sticky, sticky. And I've got something in my eye. I've had something in my eye for the last hour and I can't get it out. And no, it ain't my finger or my eyeball. It's something other than that. <laughs> let's, let's just use one of these. We can glue on this and, and I can switch it out if it gets bad. And I got a uh, Tim Holtz memorabilia box here. And I got the uh, Timu Clear Flower sticker box here as well. So, I think all I'm going to do is just do a... Uh, I think I'm, we're just going to leave lids on these. I don't know if I'll... I'm not going to decorate. We're just going to make. Let's just do that. We're just going to make stuff. And we'll add it to our... Uh, to our ongoing ephemera bag. These here. Where we've made stuff in the past so we're just going to add it to that eventually i'm going to have me enough stuff to where i can make me a journal out of this i think that's going to be plum pretty so that's uh that's my plan anyways make me some journal bits and enough bits out of these this background kit to uh, make us a whole journal out of it. Let me see, I need a glue stick and I know my chair is not gonna start with me right now. I've been sitting in this thing all, all day, off and on, off and on, off and on. Cause I've, uh, I've cut all the bits for, uh, for the uh, strawberry ephemera journal. I've cut all the bits for uh, a Christmas journal today on my uh, brother scanning cut now actually I've cut enough bits to make like two or three Christmas journals getting things planned out cause strawberry journal uh, the shabby chic strawberry journal is going to be in next week's project this is Sunday Father's Day video for y'all it's my Saturday night so I hope everybody has had is having them or has had depending on when you see this a wonderful father's day with your uh with your father and those of you that have uh don't have their father with them or you know don't have a father fit figure i'm sorry about that i am still lucky enough to have my father with me so even though i don't know if i'll spend spend any time with him today or not because he, he had plans already to do something himself i don't know what he's doing so we'll see we'll call him tomorrow see if he wants to do something if he feels like it if not then we'll just say happy father's day you old fart and let it go with that <laughs> that's kind of what we do here because yeah he's 
It's kind of not in the best of health either, so it's all, it's all good. And I'm completely botching that. Just botching it up. So what I'm doing. Alrighty, so let's get into my day today. So I wake up, you know, and Dad come over. He did come mow the yard this morning. Okay. So I, I'm awake, you know, it's about 11, 1130. My phones are blowing up. Something's going on at work. And, uh, you know, it's my day off, so I, I, I'm sorry. I turn my uh, notifications off so I can sleep. And sometimes that's what I have to do. So when I wake up, you know, there's a situation at work. The lady that supposed to work this morning wasn't there. She didn't show up for a good I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, who knows. But you know, she she was not feeling well. And then uh, I think pretty much by the time someone found out, you know, she did finally show up and then about an hour or so into her shift, she needed to leave. So the girl at work nighttime came in and worked about 30 minutes to an hour to the other girl that was off today could get back from taking her fella to work and all this and that. So it was a whole big situation. So needless to say, it was taken care of. But in the midst of that, you know, me and the owner of the store, you know, we were sleeping. You know, I'm sorry, but, you know, sometimes, you know, we, you just have to take a nap. You just have to sleep. And I'm sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. So, apparently within that being said, uh, the lady apparently took offense that, you know, no one was coming to her aid or answering her text messages. Which they were, the girl that worked tonight and the girl that was off work were coming to her aid and answered the text messages and, you know, told her, you know, hey, I'll be on my way. I got to take my, I got to take my boyfriend, husband, whatever he is to work. And, you know, it's in Virginia and I will be back. And then apparently uh, that was it to her liking. And she's saying stuff in the group chat, you know, well. It doesn't matter today. I'm done after today. This type of stuff, that type of stuff. And so I was like, I asked the boss, I was like, what happened? You know, she was fine last night. You know, what's the deal? What's going on? He's like, I don't know. He said, I'm not worried about it at the moment. It's taken care of. Go enjoy your day. I'm like, okay, are you sure? He's like, yeah. So I still haven't heard anything from that. So while that was going on, I'm getting text me or uh, not text message emails email 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 and I'm like what in the world is going on today you know what is going on with the phone today just leave me alone I'm tired you know well it is a good old U.S. cellular emailing me telling me that I didn't pay my bill which I know was a fact to be a lie because I paid it Thursday. So, and this is Saturday morning now. So, I get on the phone, you know, and I'm trying to get a hold of them because, you know, they're uh, saying something about that, you know, we know what happens to the best of us. You know, there will be a reconnection fee. Now, mind you, we have three phones. So, that's 40 bucks for each phone to be uh, reactivated is what they call it. I'm like, no, nah, y'all ain't getting me with that mess. Nope, nope, nope. So, I call them. And I'm sitting here listening to this play message, you know, you're going to be on hold. And, you know, the whole time's an hour and a half. We're experiencing an extremely heavy heavy uh, call volume at this time. And I said, I guess so, because everybody else's stuff that, didn't, that paid on their website uh, probably didn't go through neither. <laughs> so, and needless to say, that is exactly what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. They have a uh, thing, it's called a, a My App, so or My Account app, whatever it is. You can go on there and pay your phone bill, you know, and uh, 
not have to do with deal with nobody or anything like that. You can pay your phone bill, upgrade your service, and blah blah blah. It's okay. Let me do that. Well, needless to say, the uh, my app was down, so it had not processed anyone's payments all week last week. So I just wonder. Uh, as a guest of the how many of thousands as to millions of people were calling them today when they got the emails like I did about they were going to have to re pay the reconnection fee because their service had been interrupted <laughs> and uh, we were fit to be tied. Uh, no, I'm not. You're not getting me. I paid my bill, you know, that type of stuff. So, you know, and instead of them just putting it, you know, sending out another email, because apparently none of them knew that it was going on. Yeah, uh, something should have told you, you know, that millions of your customers that normally pay their bill every month on time, something's going on. So, but I don't know, somehow or another, the, the, the my account, my app thing for them was not, had not processed any payments or what have you. So I was, I was nice and polite with the lady at first. I was like, you know, hey, I'm calling because I received an email about my account being delinquent and I was going to have to pay reconnection fees for all three of my phones and I paid my bill Thursday. And she goes, well, if we've not received payment, you will re pay the reconnection fee. I said, okay, will you let me explain because I have the confirmation email for I paid it on the my account online and she goes well my account's been down all week and I said and how is that my problem because I will not be paying a reconnection fee for my phones I will not she's like uh, we're taking care of it can I help you with anything else today and I was like no uh, but you know are my am I service is it going to be interrupted am i going to have to pay a reconnection fee or what have you and she's like ma'am i just said we're taking care of it i said oh wait no no wait just a minute honey don't don't you do that to me i said i've been very polite and cordial to you for someone who uh could have been on the phone raising some sand about my phone saying it was disconnected and i hadn't paid my bill i said i've been very polite very understanding that you know I know it is technology and the app is not pay taking payments I greatly understand that please don't step out of bounds with me with that tone well is there anything else I can help you with yes you can put me on uh, on a wait list to talk to your manager about your customer service skills because I've been very polite now don't come at me with that tone this morning ma'am ma'am uh, you can email. I said, I sure will. What's your name? So I took her name and I emailed her boss and they got back in touch with me and greatly apologized. They actually called me personally and apologized. And I was like, you know, normally I am not a Karen and I will not, you know, fuss and complain, you know, whatever. I understand. I, I get it. I was like, but even after I told her, you know, I understood this and that, you know, and was still super, super polite with this lady. She was still super, super mean and disrespectful that I felt. And I told him, I was like, you know, I was just making sure that I would not have to pay reconnection fee for three phones. You know, that's all I simply wanted to ask. And she snapped at me with that. Ma'am, I done told you and I was like, okay, I just, I'm making sure I'm not going to get charged on a future bill. And I said, and I hope it, I hope that you did record my phone conversation. You know, like you get on there and they say that you know, this phone call may be recorded. I said, and I hope that thing is right. This phone call was recorded because I really hope they listen to you talk to people today, honey. Well, ma'am, I'm talking to, I said, I don't care how many people you're talking to or how many people you've dealt with, and I'm sure people have cussed you out today. I understand that. I said, but, you know, you need to take into effect that a lot of people paid their phone bill, and it's telling them that they didn't, and they're waking up this morning to emails that are going to cost them 150 bucks, depending on, you know, I've got three phone lines on my, on my bill. 
I said, so maybe you need to slow down just a minute, take a breath, step away, whatever it is you need to do, honey, and deal with that. But for as far as I go, uh, you won't talk to me like that. So now I will be calling your boss. So now uh, you can give me his email, you can give me his name, and you can give me your name. And you can have a good day. And I hung up. <laughs> so after that... We went on to, uh, you know, like I said, Dad had mowed the yard, and I was greatly appreciative of that. So, uh, my daughter came over with the Moonbeam, the grandbaby. They pull up. Apparently, the back glass hatch of my Chevrolet Spark has been busted out. Dad's in the yard. Mom's outside helping him. Uh, me and the daughter, the baby daughter's been in and out. None of us have seen this window get broken. No way, no how. Though so nobody knows how it happened. No one knows how this window got broken. And I'm just like, okay. So I'm like, hey, uh, did Daddy sling a rock through the window with the lawnmower while he was here? Cause Jordy's saying my window's broken. You know, like. And I was just in disbelief. Jordy t even took a picture of it to show me. <laughs> She's like, look. I'm like, I don't want to look at it. She's like, no, look. So then, you know, like I said, Daddy had been here mowing the yard and then come to find out the neighbor across the street over here, you know, he wants to start up working and keep motors and engines and this and that and stuff going all night long. Well, apparently he was out here on the bank weed eating after my daddy left. Pretty sure he slung a rock through my glass and uh, ran up to the house. And him and his wife were over there. Uh, they were arguing about something. He was running in circles around the car. I don't know what they were arguing about because, you know, my focus is how in the heck did my window get, bro get broke. So I'm over there inspecting the window, you know, and this and that. and not paying attention to them. But, you know, he is running around the car and her running around behind him. And then he's running over here looking, walk, walking along the fence like he lost something. So I guess he was over here trying to eavesdrop as to what we were saying. And I was just like, you know what? I got insurance. I'm going to call the insurance. Well, guess what? My deductible is $500, you know. So, no, I don't have that at the moment. And so, uh, to start with, when we switch phones, I have Geico. I have the Geico app on my phone. Well, I thought I did. So, when we switch phones, that I had apparently un offloaded that app at, you know, at one of the point in times when I was shooting a video because it wasn't the time when I needed to pay the bill or what have you. And it's auto-drafted, so I didn't really need the app. Because, um, you know, at the first of the month or whenever it renews, they send me the new policy things. So, I had all my information, so I didn't even think to, uh, to re-download the app after the phones got switched. Well, needless to say, I could not remember my uh, policy number. I couldn't remember my sign-in name or my password. <laughs> so none of that, you know, the insurance stuff that you need for your car. Couldn't remember none of that because, you know, I was I was upset. I hadn't blew my top yet at that point in time. So, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, get a hold of that. Finally get all that done. They send me an email. I reset the password, blah, blah, blah. Get all that done. Well, go to through looking and it's like, you know, well, this, this is uh, more than your deductible. You'd have to pay your deductible first and then... You know, we can send someone right on out there to fix it for you. And I'm like, I bet you could. I really bet you could. So, I don't know how much more it is than my deductible. I did not worry about asking. So, then uh, I was like, okay, let's switch gears. You know, because it hadn't been drove in a couple of weeks or almost a month now. Because the last time it was drove, Mama brought it home and saying that, you know, the little ship thing, which is the overheat light was on and it was dinging at her and cut off in the driveway so i have not drove it i've cranked it twice since then it'll crank and it spitters you know put puts and spitters or sputters whatever you want to say so i'm thinking you know i don't want to drive it anywhere i don't want to drive it over to the car place to get them to look at it because i'm afraid it's going to blow up on the way there and all this and that. So I'm pretty sure it 
it's either blow to head gasket or about to, if not completely blown up. So I call the guy at the Chevrolet place, you know, tell him the situation. Like, it's got a recall on the hood thing. I can't get the hood open, you know. And uh, I said, but that's the least of the worries. I said, so, you know, mama was driving it, stroke home, said the little ship thing was on, which, you know, was, she didn't know that it was overheating and kept driving it. So it is not. So, and then uh, to top all of that off today, you know, either my daddy or the neighbor over here was weed eating or, uh, or mowing somehow or another. Or some, a rock got slung through the back glass of it, and now the, the window's out of it. And I need somebody to come pick it up. And he's like, well, we can do a night drop. And I'm just like, uh, well, will that be inside of the fence? He said, most likely it would not be. And they would drop your keys in a, a overnight drop. And I was like, well, is that going to be in a secure area? He said, uh, I can't promise you that. I said, okay, so here's what's going to happen. Uh, I'll just call him Monday. And uh, I'll just have, you know, someone that I can physically hand my keys to that actually is going to work there and not just do a, a pick up and drop it type situation. He said, all right, that'd be fine with us. And so just, you know, the, just call, call Monday morning. We'll come get you and fix you up. And I'm like... Okay, thank you, you know. So now, uh, my car is sitting out here. Luckily, it is not on the forecast, the rain, until like the 20th, I think, is that the earliest that I looked at. But needless to say, we have stray cats. You know, there's bees all over the place. There's spiders, you know. Uh, we have raccoons. I mean, you name it, you know, foxes, deers, whatever you want, you know. So who knows what else is going to happen to this car with the back glass sitting out here. But now, mind you, the whole time while we were out there looking, this fellow across the street over here, he's just in a, I mean, a full-on panic, just like running back and forth, you know, like. And I'm like, and I'm just, just the more and more I think about it, the more I'm pretty sure he did sling a rock through my window and just did not come tell me. And he was over here eavesdropping, trying to figure out what we were saying. Cause I'm pretty sure he knows that my daughter saw him out there weed eating. And like I said, you know, I don't know if he did it or my daddy did it. And my daddy said he didn't think it. He slung a rock through it. You know, he's like, I, I, I don't recall seeing it broke type situation. And I'm like, well, okay. I mean, you know, like I said, I was standing outside uh, for a good little bit. You know, I talked to him, and I wasn't, you know, looking at the car. I know last night it wasn't broke. You know, I wasn't out there walking around inspecting the car, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know when it got broke. Who knows? All I know is, is it's broke now, and it needs to be fixed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm but, so, yeah. So, that's been my lovely Saturday. So, then I went... Went to town. I got me uh, some pop. I got some water. I got some dog food. I got something to eat at McDonald's. I just came back home. And just locked myself in the craft room. Away from everybody. Because <laughs> I did flip out. I was raising some. I was raising the roof. I, the, uh, the only thing that didn't keep me from flipping out for initially was that. My grandbaby was here because normally I'll I'll just fly into her fit, you know. So, but she was here and bless her little heart, she was like, "Mima, don't stand in the glass." <laughs> and I w I was not hearing her. And then my daughter Jordan was like, "Luna, right? Not now's not the time, baby." Because she just kept saying it, you know. Because if if she thinks you can't hear her, she'll keep repeating it. Because her other grandma. It's hard to hear, and so she just keeps repeating things until she gets a response from you. And I understand that, you know. And I, I just, I wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. She was a, a, a annoying me or anything. I just wasn't hearing her because I was just tunnel visioned. On good Lord, look at my car, you know, <laughs> type thing. And 
She was so sweet, though. She was like, Mima, don't stand in the glass. You're going to get cut. It'll cut you. Mima, don't stand in the glass. You're going to get cut. It will cut you. And she just kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying it. And finally, like the, I think like the fourth or fifth time she said it, I finally actually heard her. And I was like, I'm not standing in it, but uh, Mima's just moving it so you don't get cut, okay? And Jordy, she was like, Luna, now's not the time. And I was like, I just looked at her with a, with a, why are you saying something to her for? Like, I'm going to fuss at her, you know? <laughs> so that, I was just like, I ain't going to say nothing to her, you know? I said, I'm about to smack the, whoever broke my window. That's what I'm about to do. So there is no, who knows who broke it. It's just broke. So I said a few choice words, come in the house and. Yeah, I can't have nothing here. <laughs> situation. No, I mean, I literally said that. So I can't have nothing here. I really can't, you know. <laughs> I, and I was, I was done. I was just over it. And I was just like, here's what's going to happen. And, you know, I'm just going to call, call our Chevy uh, dealership here in town and uh, see what they can do. Uh, you know what's going on. then i'm like well what am i gonna do go out here tomorrow and so it's gonna be just gone uh, who who's gonna know what happened to it then you know what i'm saying i mean like really i shouldn't say that because that the way my looks going this weekend it, it might possibly happen i'll tell you that much good lord so yes this is my day off <laughs> and that's how my day went so i was just like Yep, so then I, uh, I got some good news about a project that I was working on. So I printed off all the stuff I needed for that. Took care of that issue. And then I fussy cut, like I said, I fussy cut all of the, uh, the ginger journal, uh, strawberry stuff. I did that today. And then I printed an... I printed four copies of the one kit because um, I want to do several things with it because it, you know, it, it's really pretty and it's a big kit. I mean, it is a huge kit. Uh, I'm not going to show it yet until I get the okay to move forward with uh, what was in the works in the background. And if not, then I am still going to be allowed to use, to use the product. So that'll be coming up later. I'm looking for my fussy cut. You know what? If you could read. But here's my big bag of fussy cuts that I did on the, on the ginger journal things. Comes out great. And there is a little, that, uh, the tack on that. And, it, and see, I didn't do that because... And there's some way you can go in there and adjust the lines. Like, you know, sometimes, like, it'll have a dark line down in here. And uh, you can actually fix that and take it off. But I don't know how to quite do that yet. So I just put the uh, the gray background all the way down, basically, and cut it like that. And it does great. It is awesome. I love that thing. So I got all those done. And I got this... Uh, I got a bunch of Christmas fussy cuts. So I'm just going to do this. They're in the bag. So I got a bunch of those did. So like I said, I printed four complete journal sets of the same kit. And fussy cut uh, the stuff for one of them. And printed the, the backs of the papers for one kit to, to make a journal with. And the reason why I printed four was because I have uh, an, a couple things I want to do with this kit. I want to make a journal out of it. I want to make a, a couple folios. And then I'm wanting to see if I can make a, a mini album. A, a small uh, mini album. Where uh, it'll have like a waterfall in it. And that type of thing. So I don't know if you all uh, will want to watch the mini album things but 
I just want to show what you can can do with some of the kits that are that are out and available. It's what I was planning on doing. I think I'm gonna leave the back of that. Did I put that on it? Nope. I don't. I like it, but I don't like it. I'm just gonna leave the back of it like that, and it'll be fine. Later on, if I put it in a journal and then that's a little too dark, I'll just put a a, a coffee dye or an ink dye paper on it. And that's another thing. I did get an awesome uh, ink dye and coffee dye background so i've been wanting because some you know some of oops i lost one of them some of the uh coffee dye digitals are a little dark to me well, you know like this you know i wouldn't want to put you know a grungy coffee dye on that i would put an ink dye or not an ink dye it, a tea dye on it you know i would do that so yeah i would I'm going to put a tea dye on it. Let me see. I'm going to flip this over. And I'll show you. So here's the tea dye. And I know it is just the lightest of the light. I mean, you see it? I love that. That can, this tea dye kit that I got has like 16 different ones. And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, get the name and all that for you. When I actually go through and show the kit, cause it's all with it's all with that stuff. But I just wanna uh, I wanted a lighter background. You know what I'm saying? And then I got the coffee a coffee set that has actually coffee coffee rings. I love that. You know I don't like just the old, the whole grunged out just dark dark coffee background spots in a set. I you know if it's coffee. That I want the coffee ring, the coffee cut rings, you know. So a family kit that has that different, different levels of uh, of darkness uh, and lightness, and a coffee set. And I was like, heck yes, that's what I've been wanting. But then you know, for life of me, I can't remember who where I got it from. <laughs> but I'll, I'm gonna print them out tomorrow, and then uh, I'll show you them. So. But that's what I've been doing this evening. And probably about 5 o'clock to about 10 o'clock or so. I did all of that cutting and printing and, you know, this, that, and the other. And goofing off. Just looking at stuff. Getting caught up watching the YouTube video and forget that I was printing anything, you know. Forget to shove paper in it and all of that. So, yeah. <laughs> That's what I did today after, you know, my whole morning fell apart. I think I'm going to try my best. I was wanting to take this and do a wrap over a journal card. That's what I'm wanting to do. And then we have enough over here to make tag, to make a smaller tag set with it. That was the initial plan with this papers. So I think I'm gonna do that and then I'll uh, do this page here and I'll get off here. But yeah, that was the, the riffraff, the shenanigans and the, you know, the highs and lows of my day to day. <laughs> it's just like, ew. and I mind you all, this is happening, all of this happened in a span of like an hour this morning like as soon as i and i was like by 12 o'clock 12 30 i was just like i'm just going back to bed i'm done with the day already i've had enough had enough of today and so i'm out <laughs> i was really just like i'm just gonna go lay back down i don't even know why i bothered to get up <laughs> Cause I was just like, man, I tell you what, when it hits, it just hits good, don't it? Just everything, all at once. Stop it. But yeah, I was, I was a little upset today. I wasn't trying to be nasty about the you know, my phone bill, I was really, you know, understanding. I mean, I really was, you know, because I just wanted to call to make sure that I was, you know, what was going on for one. 
you know. Because if not, I was just going to, you know, send the payment right on back through. Because, you know, maybe. And, I mean, at the time when I did pay it, I did have the money in there to pay it. Before my uh, direct deposit hit. So, you know, I knew that I had money in there. That, that wasn't the question. It was just, I want to know how come. And I checked my bank account. And I was just like, well, they ain't took my phone bill out. I wonder why not, you know. And then, you know, and had they had the the common sense for one to put you know on their call service thing that you know that we are experiencing issues with our uh whatever that app thing is that they that they have my account app bill pay you know we we are we are working to we are working to fix it, whatever, you know. If they had done that, that would have saved them a whole lot of trouble today, I'm telling you. And if someone had had the foresight to do that, then they probably wouldn't have been experiencing all that high volume of uh, calls today. People fussing about their phone about to get cut off. I mean, I was real polite to the, the manager guy that called me or whatever, Mr. William. I told him, it's like, you know, I, I understand, you know, that if there is a technical difficulty with the payment site, I get that. But, you know, I was just trying to make sure that I was not going to have to uh, basically pay to reconnect my phones. But, uh, you know, because of the issue that you all had. Sneaking in on a bill later on or something. You know what I'm saying? Because they will do that. U.S. Cellular is bad to do something like that. I tell you, they are. Uh, at first, when I was... Ooh, that is all kinds of crooked. Now, how in the world would I do that? The first couple times that I had had U.S. Cellular like the first year they were real bad if it was a five week month they would send you a bill at the first of the month and send you another bill at the end of the month so they tried that with me twice so they sent me a bill i think it was uh, may at the first of the month my bill was due on on the second of the month so i paid that bill and then they sent me a bill and i was thinking you know it was uh, for my next month you know Cause I done paid it for the second. And then, nope. The two weeks later. At the, the 28th of the month. They sent me, uh, called me and told me that uh, I needed to pay a reconnection fee for my phone service. Because it had been disconnected due to lack of payment. I was like, are you kidding me? I paid it on the second. Well, ma'am, you had a new bill issued. Uh. No, I'm not paying two bills a month. Now, I, I don't know uh, who else y'all get over on on this just because it's a five-week month. Well, the billing cycle is every 28 days. I said, okay, I paid my bill on the second. It was due on the second. I said, so today is the is day 28. So the way I'm looking at it and calculating by the way you said it's 28 days, I still got three more days or two more days, right? It's, it's the way I'm looking at it. So I don't think so. You can turn my phone right back on. Or said, or is better yet, you can have my phone back. And then uh, I will take my service uh, and go get service somewhere else. Well, let's say I didn't have to pay no, no more double phone bills. They tried it again later on. I think it was uh, September. Was that? No, it was October. Yeah, it was October the first hit. And then... Yeah, they and by the thirty first. No, we're not playing that game again. Y'all might get over on the other ones, but not me. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Not not I'm not paying two bills a month. My bills due on the second. You know, yeah, I pay it on the second. And here, you know, because most people, you know, they pay the bill. They don't keep their their uh, their emails. I print my emails off. I sure do. Uh, confirmation email where I paid that bill. I'll print it off. I'll keep it. 
I sure will. You're not you're not gonna double bill me. Yeah, you know, the, the confirmation number or what have you. I don't want a confirmation number. I want a email sent to me that states that my bill was paid in full, what date and what time, because it is time sensitive. <laughs> so I, that's what I want. That's what you can give me. Let's see. Can we just pull that on over? Let's look and see what that looks like on the back of that. Oh, yeah, we can. We sure could. You can write on the back of that tag with a dark ink pen if you really wanted to, you could. And I probably should have moved that over here a little bit. So I could have got some more of the flowers because right there's the edge of that. I'm a knucklehead. It'll be all right. It'll work out. I ain't worried about it. And I think actually what I had planned on doing was making two tags out of this piece. Hopefully I'll get the flowers in the other one. <laughs> It's just like, oh man. But yeah, so needless to say, the day turned out not so bad after all. I got, you know, a lot of crafting stuff done. You know, and uh, I didn't do the whole week grocery shop and then uh, my head hurts real bad because you know of course all that going on at once your blood pressure gets up and I have high blood pressure anyways and I was trying my best to stay as calm and collected as I could you know and then uh, I just you know sometimes you just gotta snap and lose it but I held it together pretty 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 good as I as I could. Pretty much as I could I held it together. So it's just like there ain't no sense, you know, ranting and a raven that can't prove nothing, don't know who did what, you know, either way I'm gonna have to wind up paying for it, so it don't matter. You know, who's what's the point? I just, you know. Like I said, I, I mean, I was on the back porch because I, you know, I was standing out there. And I looked out and I didn't see nothing wrong, wrong with the vehicle. And then, like I said, I'm coming to the house, planning on getting ready to go to town. You know, go to town. We go, sh we go shopping. We call it going to town. <laughs> Grocery shopping, you know, whatever. If you go go to a store, it's called going to town here. So that's what we was doing, was getting ready to go do that. And Jordy pulls up, comes in, was talking about it, and I was like, "What do you mean?" I thought she was talking about Mama's car, cause you know, my car, like I said, has been sitting for a little bit until I can get enough money to get it, you know, to the shop to where I can, you know, at least, at least put a sizable payment down on getting it fixed, you know what I'm saying? Because, I, like I said, I spent money I had put up saved paying to get the trees done. And then, you know, so, yeah. And I was like, and I, I was fussing about that, too. I said, should have let them daggone trees just sit out there and rot. Now I ain't, can't even get my car fixed because of that. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, but yeah, I mean, I was, you know, when when stuff hits the fan, you just go through all the stuff that you done did and spent your money on that you're just like, I shouldn't have done that, you know, <laughs> <coughs> that kind of stuff. It was just, oh, now it's kind of funny, but then no, at the time it was, I was not being funny. I was ill, ill wanting the word for it. mad trying and I flipped out and had a moment and then I was just like you know what here's what I'm gonna do and I went and done it sometimes you gotta do that though you gotta mad cry and get your feelings a minute and then smooth yourself out and jump right back on it
diagnosis though at the point in time i was just like you know just i worked so hard to try to get stuff you know get stuff ahead and do this and do that and every time i take two steps forward i get knocked back four backwards you know it's just one of them uh, boohoo me situations <laughs> Then everything's gonna work out. It'll be okie dokie. So with all of that, with the you know the, the the issues and the bad stuff, I did get to see my moonbeam today. Had fun watching her play with her stuff and build a puzzle. And I did get uh, uh, most of my crafting uh, stuff that I needed to get done for the whole week done today, actually. So, and like I said, had I not had that uh, brother scanning cut, I wouldn't have been able to do that either. Oh, I'm just going to pile in right here because I got, I got a cover setting up our drawing on top of my box. I did another layer on the on that uh, leather journal cover. This here. You know, the one we started way back when. I did another layer on it. So I had it up there drying. I think it's pretty much dry now. But yeah, I got it up there. I need to get it cut down and sized up. So I want to use it for a... Uh, that's going to be August journal. So, uh, what is it? Sunflowers. <laughs> that's going to be my August journal cover for my sunflowers. So, that's how I'm, that's how far ahead I'm working and thinking about, you know, what I need to get done, and when I can do it, and, you know, like, by, behind the scenes type stuff, you know, like the printing, the cutting, the the getting the covers put together and papers picked out and all of that stuff because like i said you know if it was really a true start to finish it, there ain't no telling how long i've been saving some of this stuff to make journals with i mean really or which initially was you know to make uh to make mini albums which are now turning into uh all oh, that'd be a perfect journal oh, that'd be a great journal you know that that thing when you switch crafts mid midways but you done got this and that collected up for it so but i am still going to make some mini mini uh mini albums and we'll make some folios and that but yeah so that's what i'm planning on doing so i was just getting all my bits together i've got all of my stuff together for uh christmas in july I did all of that, finished all that up today, got all that done, all of it's cut out. I've got two, two journals cut. I haven't got it inked yet. One of them's inked, cut, and everything together. I just got to sew it together. I even uh, sewed and made the, my, my cover, which technically I cheated because I did this last year before I started a YouTube. And then by the time I got back around to it, I started making it in December, and then I was... I was unsure of myself with sewing, and by the time I'd practiced enough to where I felt comfortable with sewing the cover for it, it was January. So, <coughs> so that's what happened there. But yeah, I'm just gonna take these bits and put them in here with the rest of them. We have some pretty scraps. And do some collaging and stuff. I think a lot of that I'm gonna make a couple of master boards with the uh the cut off cut offs from these and make tags in that. <coughs> I think my crying and stuff. I'm so sorry about the coughing, y'all. I think my crying's uh got my bronchial asthmatic stuff flared up. I've had that deep wet cough today ever since then. But so that'll hang over a page. So this will be like your page in your journal. And you'll just put that over your page and you have a tuck. And then you'll have this on the back side. And then it'll flip up like that and you can write on it on this side. 
And I think that's going to be awesome. I'm not the first one that came up with that. And that was a Tim Holtz ephemera bit, like a like one of these things here. That's what I made that out of. I've made a few of those in this journal or for this, with this uh, paper kit. I love these papers, so beautiful. Like I said, that was the Melina, I hope I say her name right, right here, Melina 1202. And there's uh, one, two, three, four, there's 400 um, backgrounds, floral backgrounds, ranging in colors you know, so this was uh, 300 to 400, the one that I printed. So and then we made the tags. There's just a journal card. There's just a tag. And then here's just a pocket. I need to glue that. So yeah. So there's just some uh, more journal bits. I think this would be pretty for like a, uh, after I do the, because uh, I'm wanting to, that's why I keep going back to this, working on it in between journals and stuff like that, is because I want to make this for like a, like an end of summer type, because it has, you know, all the colors. It's got, you know, the, the orange, the, the white, pink, the blues, the purples. I mean, it has all of the colors in it. It's just beautiful, beautiful uh, paper backgrounds. So, I just wanted to show, you know, how you could take the whole, like, this whole solid sheet here. It's, it, they come like this. It's just a solid sheet. And you, you just imagine using the floral bits. So, like, these here, that's going to be my front uh, for, like, a journal card. And I'm going to fold these over. And those will be the back so you can write on them. And that, that's what I envision. That's, that's how I come up with stuff like that. Yeah. And then the cut aparts we'll just take and put in the box and we'll make us a big couple of master boards to make tags and pockets and journal cards and stuff with to help, you know, we make, make a couple of journals out of this stuff. But I wanted to make one out of this springy color kit after I do, uh, I'll probably do this the first week of August roundabouts because it's still you know coming off of the summer and then uh due to sunflowers because usually some sunflowers are around in august you know but yeah that's one i'm gonna put this under my mat and this one because i keep wanting to curve y'all shut up look here look i'm gonna move my mat what is that look right there <laughs> for that lemon that lemon journal look at that mess ain't that something well that's where i put it at uh oh i just hit my lamp well shoot well we'll just put it in our lemon stuff pack over here won't we yeah we'll just put it in there we got us a journal card for the next one <laughs> ain't that a hot mess I'll tell you what, I need to move that because I got several stuff things over here. Okay, let, let me move these down here on the edge to hold them so then I can see them. I'm going to have to quit doing that and lay this mat over top of it. Or let me put them under this heavier mat. That's what I should do. Put them under that because I'll move that before I'll move this. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Ain't that a mess? Cause for me, I remember I had made uh, the yellow one and the green one with stamp bits on it, and I was like, "Well, I knew I took I cut two of each. One of the green ones I accidentally and you know cut." A pull on it and I was like well I'll just put it up to go with something else because I didn't need another pocket and then I was thinking to myself I was like I know I made yellow and green journal cards but I only got two yellow ones so well that's where it was under here you know I had to quit hiding stuff for myself y'all but 
that's what happens when you so we'll just put it under that mat i'll move it and then the last time i hid something for myself i put it under my ink box and i found it a month later well, that's been that has been a month ain't it almost what two weeks yeah been two weeks pretty much thereabouts when i actually made it and put it underneath there you know <laughs> Alrighty, so that's, that is so pretty. So I, what I'll do is when I put it in there, you know, we're just making the pieces now. So when I put it in there, I'll round the corners, ink it up, and then when I glue it in, I'll glue it on the sides here so you can tuck something up underneath it. Oh, that would be pretty. But you have to remember that it's going to be a page. There'll be a journal page here. So then you would glue here and here, tuck something underneath it you know and then you flip it over on this side and this flips up to right on that side yep that's gonna be pretty so we're just making the pieces now and then like i said you know if, if it yeah i think i will do a little grungier look on that but well that's gonna be for fall so i'm gonna get off here and quit yapping y'all Thank y'all for listening to my day, and uh, thank you so much for letting me come and uh, get a little bit of peace of mind, peace and quiet, and uh, get, my, get my day out of my system. <laughs> thank you all so much for uh, coming back on a daily basis and watching videos. I greatly do appreciate it, and I really do thank you all for uh, subscribing, commenting, sharing and liking my videos you just don't understand how much it does mean for me to me i'm sorry and how grateful i am for you all um a lot of times uh some channels are not built authentically and i learned that in um watching some of the uh gardening channels i used to watch gardening all the time i actually started a gardening channel a couple years ago and then i was had um i don't had like a heat exhaustion and then so when it's hot outside i can't be outside i feel like i'm just gonna pass out i mean just like just walk out and just feel like i'm gonna just faint so that was getting worse and worse and so this year i was like i don't know if i'm gonna i didn't even plant a garden this year you know so I said, well, uh, uh, I'm having a good time doing my crafting, and I got into junk journaling, and I was like, shoot, I'm going to do this. I like this a lot. This is fun. You know, it's my me time. You know, nobody else is interested in it. Nobody wants to help you cut nothing. Nobody, you know, they leave you alone. <laughs> so, yeah. So then I said, well, I know other people will be interested in how I have to work around my hand situations and that. So, I'm just going to start making videos. So here we are. And I want to say thank you for that. Thank you so much. Um, I know I stumble with words. And I know a lot of times. I don't know how to link products. And such like that in my description. I'm learning. I'm going to learn. And I will learn how to do that. I promise you that. Um, but I will. Like a, you know I'll print off. And show you several times, you know, like where I got something that I'm working on, you know, and do that to make sure, um, cause I want, I want to make sure that the the artist of this beautiful paper, you know, gets their credit that I'm I found beautiful and I'm working with, and then that way, if you find it beautiful and you want to work with it and do something with it, you'll know where to go get it. So, but yep. So I do greatly appreciate every single person that has hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much. All right. With that being said, y'all have a good day. Enjoy your family. I hope everybody has a good Father's Day. And uh, we'll talk at you tomorrow.